Glory to God, people of God. Glory to God, glory to God. Uh, good day uh, and welcome to the afternoon prayer period. Generally, it's a morning peel. Um, however, the Lord afforded us a different opportunity to come a little later in the day. Um, I am in my car. I'm going to pull over in just a second, but if I don't move, I'm going to be interrupted in a moment. So um, I'm going to use the wisdom of God <laughs> and move. Okay. So um, I pray that you all ha are having and have had a wonderful day uh, of fellowship with the Lord and with God's people. And if not, I pray that soon to come, not in not many days, that the Lord would afford you the opportunity to <clears throat> to do just that. Amen. So we're going to pray. We're not going to belabor the time, uh, but we're going to uh, do what, what we have been called here to do, and that is to seek the face of the Lord. Amen. So, Father, in Jesus' name, God, we bless you, and we thank you, God, for this day that you have made, and we rejoice, and we are exceedingly glad in it. Father, we thank you, Father, for uh, this Sunday, Father, this blessed day of the, of, of the Lord that you have allowed us to engage so richly in. Father, we thank you even now, Lord God, that as we move, live, and have our being in you, Father, that you, Lord God, are richly supplying and meeting and exceeding every need, God, and every longing, Father, as we keep our eyes and set our eyes upon you, Father God, we thank you even now, Lord God, that you are causing, Father, every crooked place to be made straight, Father, in us, Father, among us and around us, Father. We thank you, Father God, that you said in your promise was that you would satisfy us with good things. So, Lord, we look to you even now, our source and our supply, to be satisfied in every manner of speaking and every manner of living. And, God, we invest in you, Father, even as you have invested in us, Father. We invest in you, our trust. We invest in you, our dependence. We invest in you, our hope. We invest in you, Father God, everything that we are and everything that we have, Father. We say, Lord God, it is thy, thine and thine alone, O oh God. Have your way in us. Have your way, Lord God in every manner that pertains to us Father we bless you even now with the fruit of our lips Father we lift up Lord God uh, uh, our seniors to you Father even now we pray and re we release blessing upon them Father that you would richly Father God supply them Father satisfy them with good things Father we pray Lord God that you will cause them Father to know that they are not forgotten they are not forsaken they are not abandoned but you Lord God know them Father and that you are a very present help in any time of trouble so Father we pray even now Lord God that you will cause them Lord God to even be uh, embraced by you Father like never before God we pray Father that you would cause them Lord God to be surrounded Father God by those who would love them and those who would encourage them and those who would bless them Father and even those that they can invest in Father we thank you Father that everything that you've planted on the inside of them Lord God for such a time as this God will be Lord God actualized and utilized and demonstrated Father we thank you even now Lord God that even we Lord God will not uh, uh, run past father and override father those that you have placed in our midst father as elders and as seniors father we thank you father God that we will glean Lord God even the insight the wisdom father God that you have uh, invested on the inside of them for us father we thank you father God that we will bless them father we will love them to life father that we will encourage them father and we will never ever ever abandon or walk away or even count them out father but we thank you Lord God that you said that he that has begun a good work in us is faithful to complete it until that day so God we thank you father that you Lord God are not done with them yet so father we just pray even now a reignition father God reigniting of the fire Lord God that you've placed on the inside of them to mobilize your plans and purposes even now in the name of Jesus father we thank you even now father God that we pray Lord God for our head for our leadership for our men for our uh, shepherds father God are uh, uh, those Lord God who you have placed father in every aspect of leadership father in our lives God we lift them up to you, Father, and we pray, Father, your blessing be upon them like never before, God. We lift them up to you, Father God, in blessing. We lift them up to you, Father God, even as we stand in the gap interceding for every need, Lord God, that they may have. God, we know that you see, that you hear, and that you answer. So, Father, we ask that you would do just that on their behalf. Minister to our men, minister to our, 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 our shepherds, minister to those, Lord God, who uh, you have given a uh, rule and charge over us, oh God. We pray, Father God, balance 
must be their portion, Father, and even full rest, God, complete rest will be established even upon them for such a time as this, God. We thank you, Father, that the, the gates of hell will not prevail against your church, Father. We thank you, Father, God, that the gates of hell will not prevail against our men. We thank you, Father, God, that the gates of hell will not prevail, Lord God, against our leadership, Father. But we thank you, Father, God, that they will be sound, they will be whole, they will be filled with you, God, and they will be led completely, completely by your spirit, God. We thank you, Father, God, that it is in you that they live, move, and they have all be, all, all their being, Father. And they will not take instruction from even themselves or anyone else except you, God. But they will fully and completely lean, depend, and rely upon you. For you are their source. You are their supply. You are the author and the finisher of their faith. So, God, we bless you for them. And we release, again, the blessings of the Lord that make rich and add no sorrow alone be their portion. We say that they will not be tricked. They will not be trapped. They will not be ensnared by anything, by anything, any ploy, any tactic of the enemy. They, Father God, will not, they will not engage, Father. We thank you, God, that they will see it through the eyes of truth and they, they, that they would override, override and veto every snare in the name of Jesus. We bless them and we bless you, God, for them, God. And we, God, we pray even now, Lord God, for the balance of the day, God, that we, Lord God, will, will take every moment, Lord God, and not allow any of it to escape us, Father, as we delight in you God may we be a blessing to you God in all things and may we be a blessing to those that are around us even our environments may may we bring a freshness and a sweetness father and a contentment a joy unleashed Lord God uh, in our midst and in our environments in Jesus name we pray amen and amen you all have a phenomenal day I say a phenomenal day not just a good one make it great no matter what it looks like make the balance of the day worthwhile we're out every moment. I'll talk to you all soon. Bless you, Jackie. Bye-bye.